Literally, this is all I have ever wanted. Just something with a bunch of tracks on it. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. We got new mods for you today. We've got a Case Puma with tracks all around. Oh, I'm so excited about that. We've got a new John Deere forestry machine. I know you guys are asking no more of these. It's a different modder, so it's not at least the same modder. We've also got a fifth wheel animal trailer, but there's two different hitch options and I'll explain. We've got a new bell trailer. We've got two more bell trailers. You can also put pallets and stuff on there. We have one of these. Check this out. It's a John Deere Cedar. Oh, that's cool. We've also got a game changer right here. Big balers. These will do 6,100 liter bales. We've also got a loading wagon, a fertilizer spreader. We got a disc arrow and we've got a mod update. Let's check it out. First up, before we get into the mods, keep in mind that every mod that you're going to see today is available for console and PC. That's PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Mac. Let's get into it. This is a game changer, not only for the tracks, but a different wheel option altogether and something that the modder's done that's so cool. We're going to check it out right now. This is the Case IH Puma, or the Puma, however you want to call it. I call it Puma because I'm in the States. It is the 240, however, this is a bigger engine. Let's go into the store and check this out. Where are you gonna find this? You're gonna find this in medium tractors. It's gonna be one of the first mods that pop up, actually the first mod that pops up. Main color, any color you want. You know we're going straight for pink. If you've always wanted a pink case, now's your time. You've got it. We'll also go with a yellow if you want, but for today, we're gonna stick with red. Rim color. We could change this, however, it doesn't really matter. You're probably seeing, well, the tracks are still staying black. I'll explain. So right now we have Lizard brand crawler tracks installed on here. Well, we've also got different wheel options as well. We have the Trailer Borgs, Nokians, and back to Lizard. Now, Nokians can't do anything with. However, in Trailer Borgs, we've got some options here. We've got standard wheel weights, narrow tires, and what is this narrow twin wheels on a case yes this is available for you if you are watching this regardless of what you're playing farm sim 19 on this is available for you does this not look good or what oh oh i'm just getting all giddy inside we've also got wides wides with weights rear twins twins all around and back to standard again <laughs> this thing is so cool Oh my, oh my. We can also do a couple different engine options here. These are different. Well, one's different. So the 185 is going to give you 225 horsepower. The Puma 200 is going to give you 245 horsepower. All the way to the Puma 240, 270 horsepower. That's what you guys are used to. Guess what? There's a third option. 300 horsepower in the Puma. Oh yeah. Did this just become the most versatile tractor in the world? Not yet. Boom. Now it is front loader <laughs> i want like eight of these on the john deere case farm i'm buying them today and we're gonna see them tomorrow oh how cool is this y'all i'm getting so excited about this right now i'm just here it is there it is i don't even want to leave from it we're gonna do a 30 minute mod review on this it's cool no, i'm kidding we're not gonna do that however check this out you may be able to hear that you may not that is the horn from the trucks and the modder says it's the truck horn instead of the beep beep horn. So there you go. Can't really complain. It is a little bit quiet, but nonetheless, we don't have the meep meep horn anymore. This next mod, not as exciting, but still very relevant. The John Deere 1070 Eco 3. Where are you going to find this? Well, this is going to be in vehicles and in forestry machines. And it's actually going to be the very first John Deere mod that you come to. Boom, right there, $275,000. We could change up the wheels a little bit. We've got trailer borgs and all of offs first back to trailer borgs again. In these, we have quite a few different options. However, I gotta be honest with you, some of them I can't tell if they're changing or not. Nonetheless, we've still got different options, which are nice, different teeth options and grid options. If you deck this out, regardless of what you go with, it's not gonna cost you any extra money. $275,000 base. Now there is one thing. Look at these wheels. Look at the back wheels in general. Those are so detailed, even in game. There's a whole lot of detail going on. I have zero filters, nothing going on. I have no overlays. What you guys are seeing is what it is. 
No color correction, nothing. Man, those look good. Something about that. Anyway, regardless, there is your John Deere 1070 Eco 3. Did somebody say fifth wheel hitch trailer? Yes. Yes, they did. We have the Lizard Cattleman trailer. This is really cool. So this will hold 10 horses, 8 cows, 16 sheep, 19 pigs, and 0 chickens. Had to put that in there. <clears throat> chickens. Thanks, Giants. Let's check this out in game. Where we gotta find this? This is gonna be an animal transports. And this is really cool. I'm loving this thing. I'm loving that we're getting stuff like this. Now, I told you earlier that this has a secret. I'm gonna show it to you. So main color, we could do, again, whatever you would like. Cut, paint it, whatever, doesn't really matter. Design color, again, same thing in here. But you notice the design color doesn't change anything because that's gonna be your tarp. Down in design, you have tarp. Let's go put the tarp on there so we have a black tarp and a yellow trailer. Now, attacher type, fifth wheel, or two and five sixteenths ball hitch. Okay, so which one's gonna work for us? Well, we all know that we have the fifth wheel, but we don't really have anything that's a two and five sixteenths ball hitch. Let's figure that out. Where are we gonna figure that out? Well, how about this? Let's bump over to right here. So I've got a couple things set up, a couple tests. This is our fifth wheel in black. And here in silver is the two and five sixteenths. So I've got the dually right here. This will work exactly the same way with the Scarrick. However, these are a little low for the Scarrick, so I couldn't really get it to hook up every single time. So we're gonna go right here, turn our help window on, and we get hook up. Okay, so the fifth wheel hooks up to the fifth wheel. We should have known that. What about the two and five sixteenths ball hitch? That does not hook up. I could try and try and try and try as I might, it will not hook up. Okay, well, what about to a semi-truck? That's the only other thing in game that we have that's got that type of hitch. Now, of course, this will work exactly the same way with the dolly. Now, those of you that don't know, <laughs> this is kind of interesting, is the fifth wheel will hook up to a semi, which is strange because I didn't think that it would work like that. However, so does this, which is also odd, because this is the wrong kind of hitch. <laughs> it's definitely the wrong kind of hitch, but uh, as far as console players go, if you're wanting to use the 2 and 5 16th ball, do not use that. But if you are, then you're going to need to use a semi or a dolly in front of that. And how stupid is that going to look? Just get the fifth wheel. Get you a fifth wheel uh, dually and use that. You will thank me. Now, there are a few customization options that we can use for this. I got to bump around and find the darn thing. Here it is. Uh, customization. Things that we can do. So, hitting right, we can lower it and raise it depending on which way we are. And we can also open the gates in the back. Now, these take a hot minute to open up but they will open nonetheless. So you can see there, boom, they're opened. Let's see, let's close it. We're ready, so let's bring that back down. Other than that, that is all that we can do with this trailer. There's nothing else that we can do, nothing else that we can move it. And don't forget to, if you're going in and let's say you're carting animals back and forth, you don't actually need to open this. It'll work without it, it's just a trigger. But for realism's sake, there you go. Next up, we have the XT2. Now, this is a heavy duty round bell trailer used for transporting round or square bells. However, it does round bells the best. There's a couple up here, I really could not get them on there right. But nonetheless, I took the right side here and I've put bells on there, hay bells. And then the other side right here, I haven't done anything. So you can see this works just like any other trailer, except there's actual spots for the bells. So if this is something you prefer, this is definitely going to be good for you. Where are you going to find this in the game? Well, you're going to go into tools, into bailing technology, and it is going to be almost at the very end. Actually, if you don't have anything as far as my mods go, this will be that right there. The X-T2, $15,000. There's only one design choice you could do. You can either do with the uh, stacons in the middle or the extensions or not. So I prefer it without. I think it looks better. But if you prefer it like that, there you go. This is a tough trailer to use. Trailers like this are not easy by any means. 
it is good that they have little spots for the bales. However, it's a lot of wasted space. I mean, a bunch of wasted space. We could do like three, six, seven. You could do 14 bales legitimately on here. But you could do a whole lot more illegitimately. And I had no problem getting this over here via weight. So this is a heavy trailer. Obviously, you would think that seven bales on one single side, you'd have some tipping issues. None at all. I was flying as well. So just keep in mind, there's a lot of wasted space. You could probably find ways to, to make the space not so wasted, but this is not something that I will be using. Now on the other end of the spectrum for bell trailers, we have just that, bell trailers. We have a seven meter and a nine meter version. The green one is the nine meter, the blue one is a seven meter. Now we can change the colors. However, we cannot change the wheels. Basically we have a two axle, and a three axle version. Let's check these out in game. Again, we're gonna go back into baling technology and these can be found pretty far back. There we go. Bell trailer, which is our seven meter. It's gonna cost you 10,500 or we have the long bell trailer. It's gonna cost you, that's gonna be nine meters at 16,750. Boom, let's check out the smaller one first. So colors are exactly the same for both. We have red, green, blue, yellow, orange. Very simple, very straightforward. And they are legitimately those colors. Now, I'm not sure which colors these line up with in game. So maybe you can tell me down in the comment section below. I'm assuming maybe Fent, New Holland, John Deere yellow maybe? Orange is probably Stara and then Case for that one. But change these however you like and they will hook up to each other which is nice no customization options it's just a bell trailer that's it now over here in capacity we have the extension or not now the extension is fifteen hundred dollars for that piece of metal right there i would say just not have that on there especially if you're going with something as basic as this you can hook a lot of these up there's no auto load i repeat no auto load they work just fine none the same these are nice. I like these because they're simple. Next up, we have the John Deere 8350. This is a cedar and it is really nice. I mean, really, really nice. It's got some awkward trailer attachers, but we'll talk about those in just a moment. Let's check this out in store. You're going to find this in tools, in cedars, and it's going to be down here. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So this is nice. It says with a cedar planter, you could sow fields. Additionally, this machine offers a possibility to seed directly. So this is a direct drill, six meters, $6,000, holds 1,660 liters total. That's 830 liters of seed and 830 liters of fertilizer. In wheel setup, we have standard and duo rib. So we've got some older style tires right there. This will go at 11 miles per hour, which is kind of nice, a little quick, perfect. Only requires 60 horsepower, which is good because with these extra trailer attachers, we can take additional seed with us, fertilizer, extra trailers. We can hook those up, bring them in and out, but we can also hook up additional ones. And you can keep going. I, if, as long as you've got the, the want to do this, you can stick these out as far as you want. Right now, this is an 18 meter. You heard me right. An 18 meter direct drill setup. You could go as far out as you want. You stick another one over here, 24. Stick another one over here, 30. You have five of these with a 30 meter planting width. Whew, you better be hiring a worker and have a lot of room to turn around. Here is, well, it's not an issue. Also, these can drive directly behind each other. We have a trailer hitch in the middle as well as on the outsides as well. I have the front one selected so I can bring in and out these sides, which is nice. But along with that, I've still got access to the ones behind that. So if I really wanted to, again, like I said, we could go in and we could hook up either more, which is it's just stupid fun. I love this. <laughs> This is the best thing about farm sale is doing weird stuff. But the turning radius isn't exactly beautiful. However, it does pop back in pretty quick. Uh, there may be just a slight bit of overlap when you guys are working. Uh, if you are taking tight turns, as you can see here, it is pretty tight in there. But boom, pops right back in. So how's about this? If you guys will send me some pictures on email or on Twitter or Facebook, See how many of these you could put together. Send me, send me some pictures of you guys using these. It'd be absolutely insane. But there you go. Nonetheless, 
there's your John Deere 8350 times three. Got another game changing mod for you right here. This is the Heston Big Baylor's pack. Well, it's not pack, but it's a pack nonetheless. It says the giant amongst the giants. You can choose between three brands with the tire combinations. So there's different ones. Let's go into tools, into baling technology. We are gonna have to bump over quite a way, especially since I have every single baler installed, plus some modded ones. Right here, big balers. It says Massey, but it's not Massey all the time. So we got Massey Ferguson right here. We've got Massey with the floater tires. We have New Holland. We have the New Holland with the floaters, and we have Fent with the floaters. You may be looking at that going, DJ, does that say 6,100 liters? Yes, yes it does. And we're gonna try it out and we're gonna see if we can auto load these. Here we've got one of our case mods that we've got today, except it is all decked out in Fent. Let's bring our help window so we know exactly what's going on. Let's unfold the baler. Let's lower it down, turn it on and go forward. There we go. Now we are gonna be making grass bells today. You can keep in mind, 6,100 liter bells. That is 50, what, 55% more than usual? A little more than 50% larger than the bells that we normally make. Now, the thing is, this popping out right now, it's looking a little large. I gotta say, it's looking a little big. I don't know if we're gonna be able to auto load these or not. I am slightly worried because these boys are massive. So we may not be able to auto load these. However, because they are kind of what they are, all the bells like this in game, they have a kind of a an interesting size thing to them. You guys may remember when the, uh, the Anderson DLC came out, those had different bells whenever we would unwrap the silage, but we could still auto load them. But there was a, just a, a big space in between. So I'm wondering, maybe, just maybe, this is the same. So I'm gonna pick up quite a few of these and we'll see what we can do here. We're gonna come back through, see if we gotta look good at this. I've done two runs, we've already made three bills. Wow. So we made quite a few. There's one more thing I wanna try with this because this is one of my favorite things to do. It's just so dumb and I love it. Grass over that, select it so, bam. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's doing the thing. It's doing the thing, I'm the bells, quick, go! <laughs> Uh, well, at least it's working so you can uh, kind of create an auto bell creator thing once you flip over. Nice, not too bad. Now that we've made all the bells that we need. <laughs> Goodness. Even in a mod review, I can't take this stuff seriously. Let's roll through and let's see if we can auto load these. Again, I don't know if we're going to be able to or not. Bell is not supported. All right. So don't be trying to roll around and auto collect these because it's not going to work. These are completely different bells. Just like the baby bells, these are totally different. Next up, we have the Pottinger Euroboss 330T. Let's check this out. This is in loading wagons and boom, right here it is for $31,000. This holds 21,300 liters of, what is it? Grass, hay, straw, silage, chaff, all the good stuff. Boom, let's jump back in. Wheel brands, we got Trailerborgs and Midas tires. In Trailerborgs, we have standards, wide tires, and narrows. So what's interesting is the standards, yeah, very standard. The wide tires aren't any wider but they're more oval than rounded. Oh, I really like those. And then narrow tires, of course, you guys are familiar with what those are. Again, back into Midas tires again. Those look exactly like the narrow tires. Yeah, they're a little bit more narrow, actually. Regardless, there you go. There that is, 12 miles per hour working speed, 60 horsepower required. Only a couple more mods to go today after today's mod apocalypse. We have the Vicon PS 1004 dash 1654. So this is a very, very cool. This is a spreader. So we're going to go into fertilizer technology. This is probably going to be the very last one. Yep. There it is. Does solid fertilizer and lime hold 1650 liters maxed out. If you max it out, that is. 
In extensions, we have the 1004, boom, and we can put the extension on top of there, bringing us up to 1650. Design, we have standard, support wheels, spraying sheet, wheels and spraying sheet, and back to standard again. So if you deck this thing out all the way, it's going to cost you $4,050. There you go. There's the Vicon PS. We've got a new Disc Hero. This is the Vogel Anu Terra Disc 600. This can be found in Tools and in Disc Heroes. And I think it's going to be one of the very last ones yet again. Yep, there it is. $32,000, 6 meters, 180 horsepower required. Goes 11 miles per hour. Wheel setups, we have standard wide tires and back to standard again so nothing too crazy there again you guys know what this is it cultivates it's exactly what it does we do have a couple new buildings for you today we have the placeable storage building this is a 12 meter by 40 meters this thing is massive i don't think anything with duels are fitting in there though just keep that in mind where are you gonna find this this is gonna be in placeables in sheds and this version will be one of the first ones you come to and it's cheap nine thousand five hundred dollars boom right there you kind of see how large it is compared to some of the other items in the game that we've got placed down so it kind of takes up about that much room not too bad at all it's a very very large mod and next to it we kind of have its little baby brother a half size version with open sides on it this is just titled storage shed again this is going to be found in a similar place in placeables in sheds and then you're just going to kind of have to go over there. It is right there uh, between the Lizard Machine Sheds and the Karen Shed. Very cool. Boom, right there. It's going to cost you $8,000. So not quite half the price, but still, nonetheless, very good looking mods here. We've also got a brand new farmhouse for you guys. This is a new house mod. This is the new style farmhouse. Beautifully detailed farmhouse, $200,000. Where are you going to find this? This is going to be in farmhouses and boom right there 200 grand click that now the unfortunate part is of course we can only have one but as you can see it is very nice very detailed if we go up to the front door boom we're not tired so we know that's exactly where we go kind of a nice uh, nice background here almost thought those were basketball goals wouldn't that be funny uh you break a window every single time very cool very nice can't see in unfortunately so there is no interior detail still nonetheless very nice detail on the outside we do have some grass growing through here Eh, wouldn't worry too much about that. Again, it's nice, and if you're trying to do a little bit more, I wouldn't say realistic, but just want to have a nice little house, there you go. And last but not least today, we've got an update for you. This is the Agrimass AT Pack. Changelog 1.1, a new store and icon. Fix the hydro lift in the AT40 and remove the Kuhn BTF 4000, which was this mod. Didn't think this was this a coon. I thought this was an agromass. Nonetheless, you might also explain that one. Drop them down in the comment section below. But we've got an update for this one. If you are using this, you got an update. Make sure you update it. Always staying up to date with your mods is the best way to do it. But with all that being said, that's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you got questions, drop those in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite mod that came out today was. I know that we have gone without mods for a while, about a week or so. And it's great to see us getting new mods finally. We're getting some really cool ones as well. They saved the best for today. But with all that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.